The news broke today that Kevin Durant wants out of Brooklyn. He has had enough. That that situation there is just not going to work out for him. He needs to get out of there. And Phoenix and the Clippers, I think, are the likeliest destination. Uh, Miami also. Miami's always going to be in these discussions. But this is just crazy. It, it completely stole the news today. Um, obviously, today is the first day of free agency. Some big news have already passed. Um, like Brunson signing with the Knicks for over 110, 106 plus million dollars. And there's uh, there's going to be a lot of other uh, signings that happen. Beal signed with the with the Wizard extended again for over 200 million dollars. So there's a there's a lot of moving parts today, but none of them matter right now because KD asked for a trade and that should have everyone's attention. Everyone's trying to clear cap space. Everyone's trying to, you know, call the Nets and see if their package is good enough to get KD. And crazy enough, there is some rumblings that the Lakers might be in it. And obviously that would mean that AD has to get involved. Like there's no, we don't have any other package. We don't have players. We don't have that many picks, if any, left. It would have to revolve around AD. And if the Phoenix Suns aren't willing to uh, get rid of... Booker, which is what I'm hearing uh, or what everyone's saying on Twitter, and the Lakers are willing to get rid of AD, then the Lakers offer suddenly becomes the best one on the table. AD, if AD gets offered for KD, he is not a bad player to get in return. I think he's still like 27, 28 years old. Yeah, he's had some injury history, but 28-year-old top 75 player in the NBA, still in the prime of his career, even though he had a down year still in the physical prime of his career. So, you know, the Nets got to think about what they're going to get. If, if the Lakers somehow pull this off, that would be insane. Like, Twitter would literally, like, break. The NBA Twitter, regular Twitter, this will reach everywhere, every corner in the world. KD and LeBron teaming up in the Lakers uh, out of all places to try to go, you know, win a title together. Like, that would be insane. This slander that KD will get would be insane. Like, you were trying to beat LeBron, and now you're joining him. Like you said, you're tired of coming in second. You came in second in high school. You came in second, you know, getting drafted. I'm tired of getting second. Like, And now his main rival in the NBA is, is LeBron, and he there's rumors. I mean, like I said, this is all speculation. There's rumors. He also has said that he wants to go to Phoenix, um, and he wants to go to Miami. So he is rumored to be wanting to go to the both number one seeds in the respective conference, but... Like I said, the Brooklyn situation is so ugly and so, you know, murky. And it was such a terrible year last year that I don't really blame KD for wanting to leave. And obviously, he, he's in the business of looking for championships. He needs to get another one, um, especially with the Warriors winning one so soon after he left. Like, that itch for a championship just it must be getting, like, harder and harder. Like, he needs one. He He, he wants one so bad. And he needs to go somewhere else to get that because, like I said, the Nets are in trouble. Obviously, the Kyrie situation, but Steve Nash also, he's not that good of a coach. Like, let's be honest to ourselves. Nash is kind of over his head. He he, he doesn't really do anything. He's, you don't see him draw up great plays out of bounds. Sometimes he's supposed to take a timeout to stop a run. He doesn't do it. And it's fine. Like, he's going to figure it out as he goes. But you kind of expect someone to figure it out as they go with like a mid, a mid, te- um, you know, lower ranking team in the conference. You don't expect someone to learn on the fly with KD, Kyrie, and all these expectations. But with that being said, where do you guys think he's going to end up? Like, do you think he's going to end up with Phoenix? Is uh, Pat Riley going to pull something off and bring him to Miami? Can the Lakers unexplicably bring him to LA? Like, if the Lakers somehow pull this off, like, I know it's going to throw a lot of people off. Like, a lot of people are going to be like, I'm never going to watch the NBA. Like, this is so bullshit that the Lakers end up with LeBron and KD. Like, like this, like what's what's the point of watching the NBA? Like, this is ridiculous. And I know there's going to be other people that are like, no, regardless, it's going to break the internet. It's going to steal all the headlines. It's going to be insane. And I can only imagine how tickets for... Uh, crypto arena are gonna are gonna be like how expensive they're gonna be like it's gonna be insane but yeah as a laker fan why not man why not bring kd to the lakers that would be insane make it happen some way somehow 
But do I think it's going to happen? No. I think ultimately he'll probably end up going where he wants to go. And if these rumors are correct and he does have Phoenix as his number one destination, I think KD has that pull. Um, yeah, he probably has that relationship with Brooklyn um, that they'll facilitate it for him and he'll end up in Phoenix. And then they'll be scary. And I do think Phoenix will try to call another team, third team, try to make some moving pieces so that they're able to keep um, Devin Booker and they get KD. Does that mean Chris Paul goes somewhere else? Maybe, but if, if I think Booker and KD, if there is a trade, they're going to end up playing together next year. And that would be scary. That would be scary. Um, they would definitely be the favorites in the West at that point, in my opinion. But let's see how it plays out. This is fun. The NBA is always fun. The NBA has gone zero days without being overly, you know, extra. And it's great. I love it. Free agency just started. Um, KD just asked for a trade. There's probably going to be more stuff, more moving pieces with free agency just beginning. And this is awesome, man. Make sure to keep up with Woj, with Shams. Like, it's going to be insane.